Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. I am here with Austin from ShipShape, and we've already done a couple of videos, and uh, if you all want to see those, one of the videos we just completed was uh, what is ShipShape and how is it used and all that, so we'll put a link to that down below. But today I want to talk about, Austin, can ShipShape be installed on older products, right? Older technologies, uh, like non-smart devices yeah. right and uh and and then what happens if that product goes out and then and then we have to reconnect it so uh stay tuned we're going to talk about that here with austin at shipshape give us some information a little bit uh you know the ten thousand foot view of what ship shape is and then kind of like talk about how how you all recommend uh, contractors and homeowners use it on older technologies, older products. Yeah, absolutely. So essentially what ShipShape is, is we've built a way to save homeowners time, money, and energy. And we do that by creating a check engine light for their home. Right. And what that means to break that down a little more is we provide a monitoring solution for major appliances in your home. And how that re is related to Crawl Space Ninja is, of course, they do crawl spaces and sump pumps and dehumidifiers. So we monitor those sump pumps and dehumidifiers for those homeowners to give them real-time alerts if something happens out of the ordinary. Right, so if, if I was interested in your product, would I have to go in and replace all those 1970 sump pumps and all that in order to use your product, or does it work with those older products as well? That's a great question. So no, ship shape is universal. It can work with any make, model, or age of appliance. As long as it's running, we can make it work and there's no need to go out and buy a smart system with ship shape. It's gonna make that system smart. And then if say one of those appliance, older appliances do break down or even one of the newer appliances break down, you just swap that out with a new pump or whatever the appliance is and put ship shape on it and it's smart. Right. One of the things that attracted me about using ShipShape and starting to offer it to our, our customers was that it monitors humidity and makes sure that there's no standing water. So it, it almost ensures that the system we install is working as intended. Correct. You know? So if we, let's say that we have a 2,500 square foot crawl space and perhaps we undersize the dehumidifier. ShipShape would let us know if we did that because it would be able to monitor the humidity and, and, and uh, make sure that the install that we have done is good. And then if we see that the humidity is at 60% or above, even though we got the DHU set at 50, ShipShape is gonna give us that information. Then we can go in and swap out the dehumidifier for a more powerful one, right? That's just Correct. one way that you could use it. Absolutely. Give us some other examples of, of what you know of homeowners uh, using ShipShape. I, I, I know we've talked about this in other videos, but you mentioned a, a, a sump pump that got stuck. Correct. And the homeowner was able to correct that. So tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. So the story behind that is we saw there was a sump pump that was running for, I want to say it was like 24 hours straight. Well, obviously we saw that was a red flag for us because a pump shouldn't be running for that long unless, you know, there's a river under your house. So we saw that as a red flag. So from our app or the dashboard, you can cut that pump off. So we decided, hey, let's try to cut this pump off and see if the float switch will drop. Because in our head, we thought, okay, this float switch has got to be stuck and it's in risk of burnout. So let's see if we can cut this pump off, float switch will drop, and maybe we can help save this pump. And so that's exactly what happened. We cut the pump off, the float switch dropped, we cut it back on, the runtime stopped. And we'd save that homeowner from burning up their pump. That's great. And, and real quick, I want to say two side notes about that sump pump. That's why Crawl Space Ninja recommends either all cast iron uh, or stainless steel sump pumps. Because if it was a plastic pump that had been running 24 hours, it probably would have either melted yep. the plastic. Because these guys get hot. So it was able to uh, not only correct that, but possibly prevent a fire. Yep. Right? Or something like that. And secondly, uh, if it was an older pump, like you said, the ship shape works on those older pumps. Sort of like our SEC battery backup works on older pumps too. That's why we talk about the battery backup system that we use because it will install on older pumps versus you happen to replace a pump uh, to put a battery backup on. So I just want to reiterate that. You don't have to replace anything to hook ship shape up. No, sir. If you've got that 1970s HVAC model, you know, running that you got from Sears back in the day, it'll hook up to that. It doesn't matter. So we know a little bit about why Crawl Space Ninja uses it for waterproofing and encapsulation and all that. 
But what are some of the other areas and appliances that, that you see people installing the, the ship shape uh, dongles? Is that what they're called? The little dongles or what? what yeah, do you, you can call it a dongle. Yeah. I mean, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I call them the three in one environmental sensors. And the reason I call them that is that's just way because, more technical than my name. So that's yeah, it I'm sounds talking. good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it monitors humidity, temperature and water leaks. And some other areas in the home that we like to put those sensors is the attic because of course, your act's going to have high humidity and temperature, especially here down in the south. Right. And we put the water leak sensor in the HVAC drip pan or water heater drip pan because it's not a matter of if, but when that water heater fails right. or the condensation line to the HVAC system clogs up. You know, you want to know about that stuff real time, especially if those appliances are in your attic. The last thing you want is a financial disaster or your HVAC system falling through your roof. Right. And so that's what ShipShape does. That water sensor will be placed in that drip pan. If water detects that sensor, it's going to send you an alert. And you'll know real time. And that way you can take care of the issue before there's a financial disaster. You could also place them around uh, your washer and dryer in your in your utility room there. Absolutely. You put that oh, yeah. water sensor uh, behind the washer if the washer, by the way, I, uh, from what I understand, most home floods are from uh, busted uh, washer water lines. Those rubber lines, I believe, is the number one reason why home floods. So having that water sensor in there, I think number two is probably the ice maker from the refrigerator. Yeah, we've uh, we've actually seen that more than anything else is, is the, the ice, ice maker, maker from yeah. the freezer. Yeah, so, and then obviously Crawl Space Ninja products, you could put the water sensors by the condensate pump. If the condensate pump fails, it will alert the homeowner or on top of the sump pump pit. If the sump pump shuts off and you're not paying attention to your app, that sensor will, will start to go off. And, and while we're talking about that, there's a monitoring, like a security monitoring, where if if somebody breaks in the house, somebody calls and says, hey, are you okay? Right. That's kind of this, you guys offer that as a complimentary service for the first year, and then someone can can uh, get on the uh, payment plan after that. But tell us what that does exactly for the homeowner too. So Yeah, absolutely. So uh, when ShipShape's installed, you get the first year free of having a professional monitor it. Kind of like you said, it's kind of like a security system, but for your major appliances. Right. Now, you're not obligated to pay that after the year, but you'll still get proactive notifications. You know, is, is it time to change my filter? Is it time to do annual maintenance? And you'll still get notifications if you have a water leak, there's high humidity, whatever it is, you'll still get those notifications. You're just not going to get that phone call. Now, wait a minute. Time to change my filter. You're talking about my AC filter? AC like filter, ship dehumidifier shape will remind filter. remind me when I need to change my AC filter? Or dehumidifier filter, yes, sir. That's pretty It'll let you know. Um, and then we have a list of vetted contractors, so you can just click your contractor, call them up, and they'll come out there and replace it for you. Wow, that's fantastic. Yes, so, sir. We, we try to make it as easy as possible and as frictionless as possible. I don't know if I said that right, but... Sounds good to me. <laughs> if you all are interested in ship shape, we're going to make it available on the DIY store. Plus, uh, Crawl Space Ninja is gonna be able to install the products for you if you decide to go with it. So I'm Michael Church here with Austin from ShipShape. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.